Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, we're all news as old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hello ladies and gents, I'm Phil Boss from the Brothers in Gaming channel on YouTube and let me kindly introduce you to another awesome show by these two dudes. Welcome to the Rehash. Thank you so much to Phil Boss from Brothers in Gaming for providing our intro. Uh, if you'd like to do the same, there's a link in the description where you can also be a boss. Maybe not a Phil Boss, but a boss nonetheless, and you can provide our intro. So, you had newsy type things. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about a flying cat. Fly, cats can fly. Flies can cat. But... Well, actually, my thing has to do with flying too. Really? The US government has uh, decided that they're going to learn from people who make drones and actually provide the flying hover bikes from Star Wars for their soldiers. Cats, can, ki can cats get on it? Or... I'm sure cats could. You think we could train cats? Look, if cats can be in the cradle with the silver spoon, with Little Boy Blue and the Man yeah. in the Moon... Oh, Jesus, you're going that in depth? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> if, that, if that's possible, then, yeah. you know, hey. And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. So, apparently... There's these little like hover things, like you like you know you pedal it and uh, it propels it forward. Does it make sense? Can you get it? Yeah, like one of those old like you know things that it's like a DIY. Like Da Vinci. Airplane. Yeah, kind made. of. And, and essentially, these two people. I, I don't know if it's a couple. There's really no backstory. I tried to search up a little bit more about it, um, but they're about the same age, and they were just flying through the air, and then out of nowhere, you look up on the wing, there's a cat. And he was just hanging on for dear life. He's like, oh my god, they don't let me fall. That has got to be equally the saddest and cutest thing. I think ever. it's the, the coolest thing ever. That's like the most amazingest cat ever. That's like the coolest cat in the world. A amazingest? Fly, amazingest, yes. It's a flying cat. Is that a word? Would you like to have a flying cat? Forget about amazingness. <laughs> it's just a flying cat. That's amazing. I'll tell you what. I will get a flying cat the day cats fly. He was flying. I mean, actually, by himself. It's like wings? Maybe. Okay. Uh, mine is actually dealing with... Okay, so before I get into the meat of the story, I want to point something out. It used to be that if you had an interesting product, a product that you brought to the market, you used to have to find a military application and get the government to fund, you know, development so that you could bring a consumer-grade thing to the market. That's just the way things worked, and that's one of the reasons why um, Dow Chemical has a military wing, like, like a defense contracting wing, and, and all these companies, that's because that's how they figured out how to pay the bills. Well, it seems that the government is flipping this on its ear and going to someone who crowdfunded... You're making faces again. I don't make faces, ever. They've decided that they are going to a company who was crowdfunded to make hover bikes, but they want them to make hover bikes for soldiers. Not just like little drones, they actually want Star Wars grade. Like, would they actually, like, how high off the ground? Like, that high or that high? Would they, like, fly Adjustable, like, like, like turn the little fan propellers higher, you go higher. Like, it's just a propeller, though? Like, what if something it's gets It's, like, them? four propellers, and, like, um, and right now, they know more about it than you do because we're showing it as we speak. Right. They but it's, it's basically, it. like, it's basically, like, four helicopter blades. So it's, like, it's like four fans, right? You just put four fans, you just tape it to the bottom of a bicycle, and that's what it is. You try that, and I, I, I went to watch. All right, deal. All right, so now comes the part of the show where we randomly show you the evolution of uh, Microsoft controllers. Yeah, Microsoft controllers. If you guys are Xbox gaming fans such as myself, you get to see the evolution of the controllers. It's yeah, really cool. So just pause the screen right about now somewhere, and, <laughs> you know, okay, now moving on. We don't know why we included that, but we thought it was cool and interesting because somebody... Uh, send us the image, um, and so yeah. Um, also, uh, I wanted to talk about comment type things. Yeah. Let's dive into comments. Yeah. So the very first comment that we want to talk to you about today is this from the average gamer. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. it looks pretty good. It looks like average gamer. Well, let's go with average. No, I think there's supposed to be a play on words there. Average. Average Gamer. Okay, that's what we'll go with. Average. All right. Average. Um, he says, keep it up, guys. Love the content. Uh, I have to make a silly comment, possibly help out a bit. You guys uh, have to get rid of the fake radio voices. Uh, and you guys what? are charming enough to blatant, uh, but it's blatantly obvious. Be yourself. So here's the thing. Okay, this is how I talk. Maybe I'm projecting a little bit more to make it to the microphone, which is hanging somewhere above your head <laughs> in a microphone space. Um, this is honestly how Zach talks. Like, there's no, um, no extra, like, um, post-processing, no... So you think. 
Are you having a seizure? <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> all right, all right. Wow. Um, but right. I did want to say that, I mean, th this is us. Uh, unfortunately, he gets crap all the time because of his voice. Um, I get everything, I get called, all everything from, you know, people say that I sound gay, people say that I sound <laughs> fat, which I am fat. No. Um, uh, people say that I sound all kinds of cr crazy things. I don't know, it's me. This, this is just who I am. So I wanted to show you guys a comment from somebody named Anthony Smith. If you guys don't know who he is, he's all over the Freedom Channel. Dude, that guy's a scrub. Really? Yeah. D did you did you know that he once told me that he was going to try to bring a Minecraft server to freedom and he still hasn't done it? Are you serious? I know. What a thief. Let him know. Uh, who? A thief. How to play? <laughs> All right, anyway, no, no, no. Let's get on topic. We've got to stay on topic. He says, this show is so much fun to film. Tell me, is it as fun to watch as it is to make? Is it? Because like, do I, I don't watch that guy's stuff because he's a total tool. Oh, you don't watch his videos? I watch yeah. a lot of his videos. He does pretty good stuff. He does a lot of fun. Are you, are you gay for him? On certain occasions, yeah. You're, you're probably like 9.5, 9.9. You're pretty high, though. But I mean, for the most part, you <laughs> go the middle. No, he does a lot of vlogging content. It's really good. He's like, freedom. Hey, this is what I'm doing in my day. And like, he goes to get pizza. Yeah. He does late night run to get food. I mean, he does a lot of stuff. You guys go check him out. It's uh, Anthony Smith. The link will be down below. Up until today, he had a roommate called Zach Sparks. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Weak. Okay, so uh, before we end today's episode and before we spotlight our partner, I do have to introduce our brand new guy who has just come over. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. Let's cut to the Woo! We got a new recruit. Hey, the Freedom, we got a new recruit. Here he is right beside me. Do you want to introduce yourself? What's up, Freedom? Dale here, or you might know me as Sila. Uh, I'm going to be working on a lot of MGN based projects, building up communities, hopefully, getting places for you guys to upload your content and grow your channels. Get that gaming content out there. So you guys heard it, MGN, the one and only network for gaming. You guys should go partner with it if you guys are gaming related, and that's what he does. Yeah. Um, so we are looking forward to a lot of bright projects. We don't want to get into the specifics right now, just because a lot of people have kind of given Freedom some flack lately about saying things and not delivering, even though we would be talking in the, um, in the hypothetical at this point. Yeah. We don't want people holding us to things that, you know, we say might happen as if we promised it, so. Yeah, but just know that he came here to work specifically on MGN and other really cool projects that we can involve you guys hopefully on in the future. So, for so the yeah. I have a question. What's your favorite pizza no, 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 no. Your favorite pizza topic? See, I'm a bit of a weird one. I have bacon, pepperoni, and garlic butter. That's Actually, that sounds really good. You never asked me what my favorite pizza topping was. You're not a special guest. Okay, I see how it is. You don't get that. I see it. When am I getting pizza? Uh, there's some in the fridge. It's like day old. So pretty good. So yesterday when we recorded Rehash, you guys asked an awesome question saying if you could change about anything about any game ever, what would it be? And I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and ask our new recruit or guest, who would you change? It is a tough one, but I'd probably go with World of Warcraft. And I'd say more of a, an open world RPG aspect to it. It's yeah. more structured, it's not as... Witcher 3, for example, that has a really great open world RPG feel. So right. I'd go for that. Yeah, World of Warcraft. Oh, very nice. I like it. So, Philiboss from Brothers in Gaming uh, provided our intro. That means that he gets an extra special spotlight at the end of the show. Um, I personally looked at his channel. Um, the only, well, the main thing that I took away from his channel is that if he were to render in 720 by, or sorry, 1280 by 720, yeah. um, and remove those black bars from his videos, he would, his quality, just in general, would go up so far. And, and the only other issue I have is is with his thumbnails. He lacked a lot of thumbnails in the videos that he had made. This is a suggestion as a YouTube content creator. It's ever so important that you make thumbnails that are very, you know, bright, poppy, that would attract an average person's eye to make them want to click your video. I mean, you gotta take in mind, a lot of what you're making in today's industry, a lot of other people have already made. So you gotta find things that set yourself, you know, yourself aside from the community. So, you know, make really unique thumbnails, like you said earlier, render in 720 or 1280 by 720. I mean, the guy has a lot of potential, so make sure to go check him out. He made an awesome introduction. There will be a link down below via the description. Mm -hmm. Let's go check him out and, and comment rehash everywhere. Yes, please. Go spam his channel with hashtag rehash and make him beg for mercy. Ma just make him wish he would have never made this intro. Uh, in reality, though, go spread some love. And uh, yeah, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, 
Be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Bye. for your family.